right? And stablecoin is just platform with like storage, with like DeFi, with NFT platforms, and they all can interoperate uh, in a seamless way. That's ultimately up to the president-elect and, and his or her staff, <laughs> right? So I won't be presumptuous, but I will say the kind of person. Incorrect. There's no trial. It's just briefing. Um, and and so, but this is this has taken on a little bit more of importance than a lot of people are giving it. And Paragraphs, Russia and China team up against the U.S. dollar with planned blockchain payment system. It says here the BRICS. If you're one of these countries, if you're Saudi Arabia, if you're Turkey, if you're Egypt, if you're Nigeria, uh, Venezuela, it makes sense to have a system that's more efficient and less costly and is not going to be... <laughs> If you got some baggies, welcome to the party. Welcome back to some more Moon O'Clock News. No breakfast, no coffee. Shout out to Lady Sub. We got Enzo YT in the building. Appreciate you stopping by, smashing them likeies. Stuffing some baggies. Go ahead, throwing in moon suits. Throwing in pilot shades. Buckle up, because the future's extra, extra bullish. Let's go full speed, full throttle. Into the crypto verse, we have the total global cryptocurrency market cap today at 2.78 trillion, down about 2.4 percent in the past 24 hours. We got XRP in that number seven spot, right around 67 cents, down about 8.1 percent in the past 24. Looks like a red day today. We got Stellar right around 14 and a half BTC, 69,000 ETH, right around 38, 39 Hundo. We got Flare Networks right around 0.038 XDC, right around five cents. Songbird 0.0148 Stronghold 007. We got Evernote at 48, 49 cents. Zao. 12 cents. We got one from Dr. Martin to kick things off. If you didn't know, Dr. Martin, head of research at Uphold Inc. He says, we're finally seeing the fruits of increased development on the XRP since the lawsuit was settled and XRP ETP is around the corner too. There's life in the old girl. We got Kate and Long here. Hey, U.S. crypto owners, U.S. President Joe Biden is once again including the crypto taxes in his proposed budget, including a mining excise tax and amending Washell trading and market to market rules to include cryptocurrencies we got one from nerdy x ripple and stellar working together with axelar for interoperability across multiple chains okay uh so let's talk a bit about our favorite topic here which is stellar uh so for anyone who doesn't know last year we announced a bridge bounty uh for building cross-chain interoperability solutions for stellar and axelar is one of the participants and winners of that bounty program and you are in the process of integrating with stellar smart contract platform uh, which is Sorbon. And I'm sure you're very excited about this, but you know, from your perspective, what is the value prop of integrating with Stellar? Yeah. So to me, I think Stellar has a very unique both technical stack and also distribution, right? And use cases. You know, I think we would, we, um, you know, it's probably not a secret that there's a lot of kind of a payments focus that Stellar, you know, has been going after. I think, um, you know, I know at least a handful of very, very strong uh, stable coins that have been issued on the Stellar platform. And the question is, you know, if you have these interesting applications and use cases like stable coins being issued on Stellar, you know, you still want to make sure they're composed with the rest of the ecosystem system right so that liquidity can go in and out that the applications on other chains whether or not it's ethereum or you know avalanche or solana can interact with these stable coins be able to send them back and forth be able to tap into all of that liquidity you know and um, kind of regulatory frameworks and so to me that's really the power right is that taking a, a blockchain that has a very unique kind of a go-to-market and technical stack and use cases connecting it with the rest of the ecosystems where maybe other use cases or other types of, um, you know, primitives exist and then composing that all together in one. Um, so that's why I'm excited to, you know, I think kind of in parallel, we actually announced sort of integration with things like, um, you know, a file coin, right? Um, and I think that's another example where you have, you know, a chain that's sort of specific uh, around a certain use case like storage, right? And now imagine like all of these different ecosystems can talk to one another. One is like payment issues, right? And stable coin issues platform with like storage, with like DeFi, with NFT platforms, and they all can interoperate uh, in a seamless way. Um, and to me, seamless really means that the users can interact with these chains and applications with one click, right? Like I, I think that's, that's the goal, being able to simplify um, user onboarding, um processes across the whole ecosystem that's the only way we can continue growing check out the full video at nerdyx sean s90x 
We got Steven there off. The truth is coming out one way or another. The number of individuals connected is unbelievable. There's nothing stopping Boyan Sleuth or myself. The reality couldn't be clearer. Backed by on-chain analysis. Once one falls, the rest will go like dominoes. Sooner or later, you will all have to pick a side. One is revealing the truth while the other is obscuring it. From personal benefit, choose carefully. Things are about to get very interesting in ways nobody imagined. We got cool show beyond the vision, imagination, awareness, and understanding of the most scope and scale of our global transformation to peace, prosperity, law and order is real. It's occurring in plain sight and has been for seven plus years. And when the real founder of Bitcoin comes out, it is my humble opinion and there's nothing humble about me. Bitcoin will go to fucking zero. One day. And a, a microsecond. Vroom. Do you have any like, thoughts now oh, on uh, on crypto? Well, it's take it as own life. You know, I do little things sometimes for fun and, you know, make money with it. And But I have fun with it, too. Uh, you mean NFTs. you bought Bitcoin? No, not Bitcoin. No, not Bitcoin. No, not You know, if the Trump administration comes in this time, it's because they've been preparing for it. And you've been helping them prepare uh, the Republican Party to prepare for this in a way that it was not prepared uh, in uh, uh, 2017. Um, so could you tell me what kinds of people, and if you've got some names, put them out there, um, do you think might be the kinds of people uh, that a Trump administration, we're using that assumption, would pull in on the big domestic agenda elements from chief of staff, Treasury, maybe national security. I don't know. Maybe I should do that for Walter. I'm coming to you in a minute on that. But on the domestic side, you know, are there people all lining up? Is there a community out there thinking, right, this is the opportunity. We want to get it right. What kind of people do you think would be stepping forward? There are. I, I will disappoint you, Robin, and not mention names. That's ultimately up to the president-elect and, and his or her staff, right? So I won't be presumptuous. But I will say the kind of person. The kind of person, and I'll be candid here because I think I've been invited here to be candid. The kind of person who will come into the next conservative administration is going to be governed by one principle, and that is destroying the grasp that political elites and unelected technocrats have over the average person. And if I may, I will be candid and say that the agenda that every single member of the administration needs to have is to compile a list of everything that's ever been proposed at the World Economic Forum and object <laughs> all of them wholesale. Anyone not prepared to do that and take away this power of the unelected bureaucrats and give it back to the American people is unprepared to be part of the next conservative administration. Okay, that's very clear. Shout out to the cool show, Rob Cunningham. We got one from BIS, Bank for International Settlements. Fast payments are key innovations that have seen mass adoptions in some jurisdictions, but not in others. Adoption may be higher when certain design features are present. We got XRP drops the next step in the Ripple versus SEC case. This has taken a little bit more of importance than a lot of people are giving it. We'll get a glimpse into how all that's going. On-demand liquidity, new contracts, how Ripple's doing business. Let's talk about SEC versus Ripple. Uh, I believe there's a trial coming up in April. Is, is that correct? And what can we expect, uh, you know, as far as next steps? Incorrect. There's no trial. It's just briefing. Um, and... And so, but this is this has taken on a little bit more of importance than a lot of people are giving it. And um, if you look at some of my X threads on it, I've kind of talked about it. But it was I always thought that SEC was going to try and re-argue the case in this remedies briefing based on everything that's happened after the fact. And what I mean by that is ODL, new contracts, you know, all of that. And what the SEC, when we saw that discovery dispute that came out where they're like, give us your contracts, Ripple. And Ripple was like, no, I mean, Ripple was never going to win that. But mm. what they're going to try and do is say everything that you're doing now and will do in the future is basically a securities transaction. Like Judge Torres said, certain ones were in what she called, quote, institutional sales. So SEC is still trying to go for the jugular as much as they can. And if Ripple was smart. And they are. So hopefully they did it well enough. They would have immediately changed all of their sales to institutions um, to be as best outside of what, you know, Judge Torres ruled were securities transactions. Yeah. 
And so we're going to, Ripple is going to fight that out in the briefing um, over the next two months. The SEC is filing their damages motion end of uh, this month or towards the end of this month. Ripple's got a month to file their opposition and then another essential month for the SEC to do their reply. Judge Torres will sit on it for, you know, two to four months and she'll make a ruling. And, and that'll be really important because that is going to get into ODL, new contracts, how Ripple's doing business now. We'll get a real, we'll get a glimpse into how all that's going. I'm sure Ripple will file some things under seal. There'll be a little battle about that. But this is very important because it's going to really affect how Ripple does their business going forward. Shout out to Thinking Crypto. We got Wrath the K, Ripple partner, and Tranglo will expand into Europe via InPay's instant SEPA connection and InPay will reach to Asia. Tranglo will offer multi-currency, exporter payments, B2B and B2C customers. Tranglo is an on-demand liquidity. XRP user, know what you hold. We got subject views. The greatest deception by the Western governments is allowing their citizens to buy Bitcoin while the rest of the world buys gold. XRP. XLM. They've recently announced a new payment system away from the U.S. dollar. I'll just read you the headline and the first two paragraphs. Russia and China team up against the U.S. dollar with planned blockchain payment system. It says here the BRICS block of countries led by China and Russia are moving ahead with their efforts to move away from the U.S. dollar with an announcement that they're planning to create a payment system based on blockchain. The Five Nation BRICS group um, uh, told uh, an, a Russian agency, uh, TASS, late Monday, we believe that creating an independent BRICS payment system is an important goal for the future, which could be based on state-of-the-art tools such as digital technologies and blockchain. So first, evaluate why they're doing this uh, and talk about what, whether or not you think blockchain is a solution to what they're trying to achieve here. Well, what they're referring to is central bank digital currencies as a means of settlements on trades between countries, okay? And um, that is a reality. There's probably 130 countries around the world that are testing central bank digital currencies. And I don't know if you've heard of the M Bridge project between China, Thailand, and the UAE, which has been in effect for the last couple yeah. of years, which is testing cross-border settlements using central bank to central bank ledgers and completely outside the U.S. dollar system. So this is what they're referring to, and it's more efficient, it's going to be less expensive, and it removes the, you know, a, a large part of the world from the, uh, what they perceive to be a problematic U.S. dollar system. So yes, that's absolutely happening, and it makes sense. If you're, if you're one of these countries, if you're Saudi Arabia, if you're Turkey, if you're Egypt, if you're Nigeria, uh, Venezuela, it makes sense to have a system that's more efficient and less costly and is not going to be in jeopardy of being attacked by the U.S. government. Bitcoin was just a test net. Get ready for the XRP ledger to go live. We got one from Aquarius Aqua Token. Found it. The airdrop treasure is the bounty of ICE tokens. This isn't just wealth. It's the key to unlocking a world of possibilities in the Aquarius ecosystem. Stay tuned to learn how to claim your share. Airdrop. We got waves of innovation, lucky door prizes. We're thrilled to announce a special community sponsorship spotlight for XRP Gold Coast 2024 right around the corner. Together with Wave Innovation and thanks to LaRoche, Matt, LEG, we're giving away 10 half ounce silver coins as lucky door prizes at the conference. Secure your tickets now at xrpgoldcoast2024.com slash shop. Let them know that the bag man sent you. We'll see you in the land down under we got johnny lawrence the painting comes with an nft minted over on xrp cafe the nft features original music scored by myself it's now open for offers which you can do by connecting the xrp cafe with your zone wallet zaman we got the xrp bull painting <laughs> Shout out to Johnny Lawrence. This one of one master edition XRP bear comes with the physical painting. We got the set wallet, freedom of money. It only works with self custody. Just saying, not judging. Links down below for the single or the double pack with the Bagman discount. Free shipping to the US, UK, EU, JP. Most easy and safe hardware wallet. With the sand wallet, you also have HBAR native staking. And another feature I like is the sand wallet integrated with Flare Networks. Flare token, Songbird, staking, delegating. Know what you hold, know what's coming. Not your keys, not your crypto. Links down below.
the scent wallets. We got Coins Kid that important November 2023 high at 75 cents is proving to be key resistance for XRP. I'm looking for a structural high or low on the macro to smash through it, confirming a huge move up for XRP. There is all the possibility of an expanded flat correction here, so please trade with caution. The flat would spoil the bulls party. Structural support needs to be maintained. We did see a nice spike volume on the local 67 break. Now we need to see the same going forward. We got Santam and Feed. Volatility is extremely high in crypto with Bitcoin reaching as high as 72K yesterday and dipping to 68.9K moments ago. 30 minutes before this drop, we saw a major FOMO signal as reflected by calls relating to buying another bullish keywords. And we got Egg Rag Crypto Bulls next task. The Bulls previous task was partially achieved. What we need now is for XRP not to close below 665 or 65 cents the next bull task is to bounce from the bouncy bounce range this will propel xrp to the fib 6.18 to 94 cents retrace and then above a dollar you ready set the reminder for this weekend sunday march 17th 10 5 a.m pst extra extra bullish shower episode 53 xrp unleashed featuring fruition production we got panos crypto is the greatest wealth creation tool of all time web 3 d5 tokenization so much innovation so many opportunities World changing ideas, new concepts, and business models. So excited to be here and witness this technological, financial, and political revolution. The best is still yet to come. Crawl, walk, then we rock it. With that being said, Batman and Bag Ladies, appreciate you stopping by, tuning in for another one. We got Crypto Pastor Nick to close things out with the XRP Bags remix. Let her friend know that the greatest opportunity of multiple lifetimes is still at hand. But the trains left the station. Tick tock, tick tock. Where would those bags be when that regulation jar molasses finally breaks open and XRP's true price is finally revealed? Later, glitches.